Why were you delusional them. before their show, and what happened afterwards? Um, I because like they say, I mean, women really don't know what what men want. Women truly, I mean, we really are delusional, especially living in Miami. Uh, there is a lot of a lot of delusion, um, and the women here give terrible, terrible advice. I feel like most Arch of the women just can't handle the truth. Um, and I feel like that's why they get so angry with these two. Um, but I think it's important to remember that your triggers are your own responsibility, and they're coming. These women are coming on their. Show. I also think it's really funny. F I'm sorry, I hate all this. I think it's really funny that when I was talking about divorce rates, um, and I was saying that men tend to fare better after divorce than women, the very, very niche example that Rollo and Michael countered with was, well, men after divorce are actually more suicidal than before divorce. And I'm like, suicide is a very, very niche level of like measuring mm. overall happiness. Like, maybe it could turn to something else, but like in every other metric, men seem to do better. So there they'll use divorce. But when we look at broader society, well, who's doing better, men or women? Their argument is that all these women are older, miserable, they've hit the wall, they hate their lives, and that's why women are delusional, but they would never for a moment entertain the fact that maybe men are the delusional ones, right? Because if I would use their same argument, I would say, well, you're saying that these women are also delusional. Don't men kill themselves at like three times the rate, though? Who's actually being fucking miserable here? If men are the ones killing themselves more than women. If you wanted to use a suicide one as a Wait, proxy for happiness. can you explain what, how does that have to do with male delusion if men are more suicidal? Because their divorce? argument is women need to lower their standards so that they can come back to reality oh, to be oh, happy Oh, but the women men. aren't being delusional Yeah, but maybe women are delusional. Yeah, maybe they're doing divorce. better than yeah. men are. Yeah, whereas the men are the delusional ones and they need to pick, figure their shit out better. Maybe, yeah. right? But I'm, okay. I, don't, I, I don't think I would make that answer. I'd come somewhere in the middle because I'm a loser fuck centrist. But um, they're, they're so one-sided in all of it. Yeah. Show. So these two don't need to walk on eggshells to take account of their feelings. Also, okay. men are way more logical than women. So if anyone's <laughs> delusional, it's definitely more than them. Oh my god! There's so many men out there beating the shit out of each other. Because they can't even talk about the truth. That's just called testosterone. They're trying to prove what you look like. Oh! Sorry. Okay, she just did the thing. Did you see the thing? So Melina said, there are a whole bunch of men out there. I'm sorry, I'll turn it off for two time of speed. I'll replay this, I'm sorry. She did the thing. The only way that Red Pill can ever survive on the idea that women are more emotional than men is if anger is not considered an emotion. That's the only way it counts. Because if you consider anger, then men are, of course, just as emotional as women, if not more emotional than women. It's a fact. But also, hold, listen to men are way more logical than women. So if anyone's delusional, it's, it's going to lead more to women. True. That's why people are. They got all the answers. Like, you said that's not true. That men, there's so many men out there beating the shit out of each other. There's because not, they can't even talk that's about not the true. That's just called testosterone. You don't that's just called testosterone. So she's saying like anger is not an emotion. Like what is testosterone is a hormone that influences your emotions. If a woman is on a period or having a whatever, you would say she's being hormonal. She's being emotional. Why does it not count for men? Do they actually think they have less emotions? I thought they were saying they just don't act on them. Same way I was saying, like, you're not legally allowed to just hit someone because you're feeling violent. So same way My Myron says, like, it's an emotion to be in love. That's why you can choose not to fall in love. He's not saying men don't have the same capacity to fall in love. He's saying I'm They're, choosing to not be emotional. They say both. They say that men are more logical, more reasonable. They don't act on emotion as much. But when they do act on emotion, if it's anger, they don't consider anger an emotion. So, oh, they, so that's Myron how they escape. would say even if like 80% of men were like punching other men all the time, he'd say that's not emotional? I, I, it doesn't seem to be because whenever you bring up like crime stats or the fact that like 96% like of like violent encounters are with men or whatever, they just seem to brush that off. They're like, okay, well. Do they brush it off because it's like a minority of men or no? Th that my guess is they brush it off because it doesn't suit their oh, argument. Okay. But I think that like men get angry. Like if you look at like severe abuse in relationships and everything too, like I think. I mean, the point. When you look at like abuse in relationships, like oh, let's not get into the men. stats on who's abusing who in relationships. Or men like each other out there because they get really pissed or text. Say that because so, you're married to a woman. I'm not married. Oh. <laughs> What? Look at like abuse in relationships. Like, oh, let's not get into the stats on who's abusing who in relationships. Fighting each other out there because they get really pissed or text. Say that because you're married to a woman. I'm not married. No. I'm just saying. A lot of times women go with women because they go with women because they sort of hate men secretly. So that's what they do. They hate men secretly. Well, you just you were kind of just throwing them under the bus. These very nice gentlemen. No, you were saying you were saying that men are not as emotional as women, which I completely. So why the fuck do we have so many men out there beating the shit out of each other? Like that's facts. That is true. Rational thinking is like. Is there so many men? Maybe I don't know the stats. Is that like... Like 96, 97% of violent crime is done by men. No, I get that, but what percent of men are committing violent crime? It's probably a relatively low percent, but what percent of women are too emotional that they're like on that level of... I guess Myron would say most of them. How do you measure that? What is a woman that's being too emotional? For men, it's very easy. If you're attacking other people, you're probably mm -hmm. too emotional. Okay. But how do you measure it for women? Because, like, for instance, the MLD guy, um, when he was on the show, like, a week ago, was like, oh, four women of trauma dumped on me. And by the time he got to the end of that show, when that Angela woman had f***ing destroyed him, he was like, oh, there's another woman that trauma dumped on me. So he would probably go away from that show saying these women were being emotional. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean, right? I, I just, emotional is such a vague word. Like, to describe, like, some group of people as being more or less emotional is just, I, I don't know. I, yeah. Unless you exclude anger as an emotion, it just seems kind of silly to me. But Women have way more, <laughs> they have way more hormones, first of all, that, that allow them to be mother and have children.
children that have more emotional connection, men are just naturally more logical. If like she's saying now that women have more hormones that make them emotional, but just earlier she was excusing men's emotions because of testosterone, which is a hormone. Yeah. You're talking about that's violence, that's not, not a bad true. thing. Also, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that we all have the same hormones. We have different amounts of them, but like men produce estrogen, um, women produce testosterone, like we all produce oxytocin for like nurturing and bonding and yeah. pair bonding and that shit. Like Always, it's actually a good thing. I'd rather have a man that can beat the shit out of someone than a beta male who just sits there and hands me a crap. She is the, God, can I say the P word? Are we allowed to do this right now? Oh God. That's why MLD couldn't uh, defend himself. Uh, and, and that part too. And that oh, that's why MLD couldn't defend himself, true. word? Um, pick me, ugh. Oh, yeah. I try, try not to use it. Uh, last two girls, give your opinion on Fresh and Fit, and we'll get back to the, to the show. Okay, so opportunistic, debatable, educational. Okay, opportunistic in which way? Um, I just mean that you guys give us opportunity to come on here, express ourselves, and to also learn about your perspective as well as learning ours. So that would make you opportunistic, not us. How does that make me opportunistic? You I don't think she realized that opportunistic is like an insult. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> She meant it as a compliment, and now he took it as an insult because he's being emotional. Literally said, because we give you the opportunity. <laughs> but we get, we get what we're trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> he actually understood it better than fucking <laughs> Myra did. Because it sounds like something he would say, incorrectly. Maybe, yeah, 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 it actually does, yeah. <laughs> that, would be, that, would be, that would be nice. Potato, potato. Okay, how about this? School. I've lived all ladies, over the world. Ladies, real quick. Shit everywhere. How important is it for your man to actually not only just be financially stable, to be successful and have money? Go ahead. Uh, for me, it's important. Do not go on a diatribe. Sure. Just give the answer, please. <laughs> it's important, how important? but yeah. how you say is not the only thing that attracts me. Okay. You know? So, but the key here yeah. is that they're not even going to give them a chance. There's yeah. plenty of smart, cool homeless guys out there. No but they're homeless. Right. So it's no like, homeless, exactly. but don't have to be. Well, that's like that's not true. <laughs> I'm sorry, it sounds mean, but like homeless people are usually homeless for a reason. Usually, it's because they're massively overrepresented in mental illness. There are not like a whole bunch of like smart, suave, cool homeless dudes out there. That's just fucking insane. Like you can be a normal guy. Okay. You'll date a normal guy? Yeah. Miss Entrepreneur? Yeah. Five foot eight? Yeah. 15, he's a normal guy. 37 to 50 not rich like you. How about I this? Date him. Would any of you ladies. Wait, so you'll date a guy that makes less money than you? I also hate that, like, whenever, whenever a girl gives an answer that contradicts their worldview, they'll roast the fuck out of them and grill them until they can bully them into giving the answer. But if a girl says, like, oh, no, I definitely want a guy that makes more than me and is six foot tall, they just accept it and move on immediately. Like, it's always critical pushback. Yeah, because you can bully them the other way and be like, oh, what if he's 5'8", but, like, makes... Yeah, but they'll this, never yeah. do that. If it coincides with their point of view, then they move on. If it's uh, contrary to their point of view, they're going to fucking cross-examine the fuck out of them until they get them to agree. Because so you said, right, away, but right you never do the same. that you love him for him. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. But if you did... Why go somewhere else? Get it for us. Well, why do you fuck <laughs> other women? No, no, because I want to, but you. Yeah, you yeah because clap. I want to. No, you said earlier. What? I said that one clap in the background. Oh, yeah. Does if, that mean that you don't love your partner? It fulfills you. Does that mean so you don't love your partner? You're satisfied, right? Does that mean that you don't love your partner because you go fuck other people? For you, yeah. No, for you. I'm asking you. Not for you. me, for you. Yeah, I'm the same as you. Because you said you're fulfilled. I'm literally, I'm literally the same as you. You said you're fulfilled. I'm the same logic. And I'm confused. Do you understand that? I definitely do. Yeah. Do you? Why do women always have a double standard? I don't know. How is it a double standard when I have an open relationship? He also has an open relationship. So I don't understand. We're just Like, why would this stupid Talk about a double standard when she's literally going to sit here and simp for these fucking guys talking about one-sided open relationships and then talk about double standard. She literally has fucking negative IQ. Like the fucking Spider-Man, right? And real quick, it's like, yes, maybe maybe open relationships are unproductive for most of society, but we can't deny that individualism exists. And there are certain people who are happy in their certain setup, and maybe that has nothing to do with anyone else. Is Just that like majority? you and me. No, probably not. <laughs> but that doesn't that still exists. We can't deny that that doesn't exist, and it's right. like impossible. You know what I mean? So no one can really speak on Melina and Destiny's relationship except them. Can, she came I mean, you can make your assertions, but you can never actually say whether they're truly happy or not. We can make general assertions about whether or not a or even relationship is going to be. Melina should just say here too. Also, like Fresh and Fit have had max one year relationships. Like, why are they even speaking on this? Better or not for do relationship? Do you guys? Fuck? No, I. We do not at all. Why would she ask that? God, oh, you ever just see women that like make you understand, <laughs> like why? Wait, tell you know, what she said. She's. She just asked this here. Just asked Amy. She's like, oh, do you two? Fuck? Oh, oh. Or maybe she's asking if I fuck Amy. I'm actually not sure. Hold on. Yeah, she came I mean, you can make your assertions, but you can never actually say whether they're truly happy or not. We can make general assertions about whether or not a open relationship is going to be better or not for a relationship. Fuck? Do you guys fuck? No, I, we oh, do okay, not at all. Too. I, I don't, I would, I would trying to set that up? Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> trying to set I, that up? Amy right. disagrees on most things I would personally that I have, never okay? want to be in an open relationship. That would fuck me up mentally. Well, and I would never tell anyone people. to be in an open relationship either. I mean, different experience. I mean, if we're going to keep it a thousand, and I'm not talking about Destiny and her relationship, but in general. We can talk about that That's all what No, no, no. Is he about to say, in general, women are okay sharing a high value man? Do you think he's about to say that? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking about